Case 46, a 27-year-old man presents to a medical mission in Tanzania with a complaint of paralysis of his lower extremities. He says he has a mild fever about two weeks previously, which resolved. Several days ago, his fever recurred, and this time was followed by nuchal rigidity and then paralysis of both legs. Physical examination demonstrates 0 over 5 strength and hyporeflexia of the lower extremities. Sensation to pain, temperature, position, and light. Touch seems to be unaffected. What is the most likely diagnosis? Poliovirus or a piconovirus can cause subclinical gastrointestinal infection, aseptic meningitis, or poliomyelitis. Poliomyelitis results in the classic flaccid paralysis, which is um, fascicula which are fasciculations, a reflexia, and muscle wasting. This is secondary to destruction of the lower motor neurons in the anterior horn cells of the spinal cord. Similar symptoms can be seen in cauda equina syndrome, botulism, and Gillian Barr syndrome. What is the morphology of the microorganism responsible for this condition? Poliovirus is a single stranded positive sense RNA virus with an icosahedral coat. Like other viruses that infect the gastrointestinal tract, it lacks an envelope. How is this condition transmitted? Poliovirus is spread by the fecal oral route. The virus can attach to and infect host cells in the pharynx and ileum. It can then disseminate hematogenously to lymphoid tissue during a primary minor viremia, which is typically asymptomatic. In a majority of patients, there is a secondary or major viremia that likely allows the virus to spread to the ner central nervous system. During the second viremia, patients ex experience mild symptoms and low-grade fever. Subsequent CNS disease typically occurs 11 to 17 days after exposure. What treatments are available to prevent this condition? Two vaccines are available to prevent the condition. The Salk vaccine consists of formalin killed virus and elicits an IgG response. This is the form used in the United States. The Sabin vaccine is a live attenuated virus. Its major disadvantage is that it may revert to its natural form on rare con occasions, leading to illness. However, its major advantage is that the recipient sheds attenuated viruses, thereby vaccinating household contacts secondarily. The attempt to eradicate polio failed because of the fear among some populations that the vaccine had been designed by colonial powers to sterilize the African people. Since then, poliomyelitis has resurged several African countries.